So we learned how to get our proton number. We learned how to get our electron number. But what about neutrons? Where do you look to get those? Well, you can't determine the number of neutrons simply by looking at the periodic table because not all atoms of an element have the same number of neutrons. All atoms of carbon, for example, have six protons. That's what makes it carbon. That's carbon's fingerprint, is to have six protons in its nucleus. So that's why we can put that information on the periodic table, because it's consistent. Every single carbon atom in the world has six protons in it. But that's not the case for neutrons. The neutron number can vary. There's a few different forms of carbon, as you can see in these pictures below. So the yellow dots in these pictures represent those electrons that are zipping around our nucleus. And the red dots are going to represent protons. Blue dots are going to represent neutrons. So if we look at that picture of the atom all the way on the left, and we counted how many red dots we see in that picture. I see one, two, three, four, five, six red dots. So it's got six protons. Well, the atomic number and the number of protons are always equal. 100% of the time, no exceptions. So if it has six protons, its atomic number is six. And you could look at a periodic table to know, oh, I'm looking at an atom of carbon then. For our electrons, we just have to count the yellow dots. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a neutral atom. The positive protons match the number of negative electrons. Next, we have to count uh, the blue dots there to get our neutrons. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to repeat that process with the other two atoms. So both of these guys here, this guy has six protons, which means its atomic number is six. It also has six electrons. But what makes this atom different from the one on the left is if you count the number of blue dots in this picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for that one all the way on the right, this guy has six protons, so a tonic number of six. It also has six electrons to keep that atom neutral. But this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight neutrons. So proton number is consistent. The neutron number varies. So how do we know if we're talking about an atom of carbon that has six neutrons or seven or eight? Well, you would need the atom's mass number. The mass number tells you the sum of the protons and neutrons together. So that atom all the way on the left, six protons, six neutrons, a mass number of 12. That middle guy would have a mass of 13, six plus seven, and then this guy, 14, 6 plus 8. The symbols for the different elements can be written in one of two ways. You can either have the mass number on top, atomic number on bottom, and then the symbol. Or you could write it with the, the symbol for the element, a dash, and then its mass number. So um, for that atom all the way on the left of carbon, for example, we could say mass number of 12, atomic number of 6, and the symbol for that carbon atom would be C. Or another way of writing it would just be C-12. Those other forms of carbon, 13, 6, C, or carbon, 13. And the last one, 14, 6, C or carbon 14.